Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute. We, Me and my hubby has been, I mean, insane busy, just incredibly uh. busy. Um, but I'm so happy to be able to get back with you guys, to talk to you guys about all the questions that I have been asked. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to do just, just as many as I can because I also want to show you guys the new 2021 uh, exquisite Faha that I love the death that is really snatching. I mean, it's really, really good. It's really what? It's really, really snatching. Okay. <laughs> okay. But first, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Um, I love my dolls. Um, I do want to put in there um, any negative comments will be deleted. So please don't even try like don't if, do that like don't don't even <laughs> like i don't do negativity on my channel or on our channel yeah. ain't, ain't that right? That's right we don't do negativity on our ch channel it's um it. it's just it's not good and you know we we don't positive get down vibes, like that that's yeah, all, all we do positive energy. positive vibes baby that's all we do right there right, right. I mean, it makes you feel better, makes you look better, makes everything just go better. Just everything, you know? just everything. So if you can't be positive, get the hell off my page. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> okay, so like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. I love my dolls. Y'all, if y'all have any questions, I will always be here to ask. Or you can hit me up on my Instagram, which is BossLady7. I do my best to answer as many people as I can as far as any BBL questions or tummy tuck questions, any type of lipo questions, I try my best. Or even just uplifting and encouragement or any of that. Um, I do my best to try to help as many people as I can because I'm such a loving person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay? Yeah. You, you want to go ahead and get started? Let's get started, baby. Okay. okay. Do you have any encouraging words? Real, real quick. No. Uh, just, that's just, just a smile. Yeah. That's that's great too, guys. Yeah. Sometimes just a smile is that's all smile. you need. Yeah. You know? Okay, so the first question uh, that I have is as as far as the BBL and the garments go, um, how soon do you switch to your stage two um, once you get out of surgery? Um, what I can recommend as far as that is you will actually start to be able to uh, lose weight. And when you start losing weight and the faja that you have on starts to uh, get uh, loose and it starts to get not as, t as, as tight, go ahead and put one on. Uh, go ahead and start the size down. Um, because what I do want to say is, is, is that actually... you come from because some doctors do when you come out of surgery you have extremely loose fajas on um when i did my second bbl um here in the usa i had an extremely loose bbl so actually when i got Faja. i'm so, you're right <laughs> you have a loose BBL. i had a, right right i had an extremely loose faja which was i i I, it was like just way too big it was actually uncomfortable um so i actually went and traded that same day when i got home because i know that i needed more compression than what was given right um so i just went on and traded my faja then but if when i did my uh surgery from uh dominican republic my first bbl um it the the faja was so tight that that uh it just took a minute to shoot the swelling didn't want to go down. It was so tight. But but it was actually really, really tight. And the one thing that I do want to say about uh, second stage Fajas is they can be comfortable. But make sure that your stomach is snatched. Um, you can do light compression on your butt or no compression. That's fine too. Um, but make sure that your stomach is snatched because when you do your... Um, uh, bbl they do get the a lot of your fat from out of your stomach area and when you have uh fat coming out of your stomach area and you have lipo you definitely want to make sure that that's tight uh that that is uh firm 
and wrapped. And as everybody know that I don't, I, I never done the uh, foam boards. I have always done a uh, uh, tummy tuck wrap. And that was due to, I, I had a tummy tuck before back in 2011. But when they do lipo in your stomach, uh, what stomach doctors and tummy tuck doctors tell you to do is they give you a tummy tuck wrap. And you wrap your stomach in, honey, as y'all see, my results are extremely, extremely well. Um, so you can just wrap, wrap your stomach, uh, put your boards on, and wear your five highs. But yeah, make sure you keep your boards on too, because the boards are really, and really, really, really important. That hard board, you definitely want to keep in. Right. right, because for a long time he he was putting them on for me, baby. I said, Help me put it in here. Um, my next question is working out. Working out. How soon can you start working out to be able to maintain your body? Um, basically, from what both of my doctors told me, from both of my BBLs, is actually eight weeks. So two months. You cannot work out for two months. Um, and then when you do work out, you gotta start real easy right you got to start real easy and just ease it on until you get comfortable um so two months eight weeks eight weeks you cannot work out for eight weeks um the next question that i have is how soon can you sit on your butt um now i was told two different things by both of my bbl doctors my first doctor told me six weeks and my second doctor told me eight weeks so, you know, I just took it as eight weeks. <laughs> so the longer, the better that you can stay off of your butt. That'd be great. Um, but once you hit that two month mark, you, 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 you're kind of good. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you kind of good as far as that. But you don't want to sit too soon. But you don't want to sit too soon. You do not want to sit too soon because at the end of the day, you don't want to say, oh, my, my butt is is down or flat or or it it went down or whatever ever the case is now but I do want to say something about that what I want to say is is that when you first have your BBL dolls always remember that your butt is swole you are swole you just had a major surgery you are swole and and you have uh fat transfer to that area so you have to make sure to understand that you are swole so a lot of your swelling in your butt will go down so no you are not losing your butt because you do also get a fluff you right. get a fluff about what i think it's three oh, yeah, like, i think it's like three months like yeah. right right around that yeah, three month three, four, area yeah. you get this fluff and you be like oh pile oh Boom. It's like you didn't even see it. It's like it happened overnight, but you do get a fluff. Um, so don't get worried or distressed. Um, like, oh, my butt ain't as big as it used to be or whatever the case is. Um, but it's different scenarios for different people. Um, the next thing that I do want to talk about is um, a lot of people want to know about my arms when I had my my uh, arm surgery done uh will i have well do i recommend that you have to get your arms and your thighs done with the doctor that you are getting your bbl with if you do that make sure that he is specializes in arms because believe it or not y'all i have spent thousands and thousands of dollars um getting my arms and my inner thighs done not to see any results. Right. Like, any results. Like, I literally had both of my BBLs, my first and my second BBL, I had my arms done and my inner thighs done with no results. Um. So, but you have to research your doctor. If your doctor does good arms and good inner thighs, then fine. But, uh, you know, mine didn't. So, I didn't get the results that I wanted. So, um, I actually end up going to Art Lipo for my arms and my inner thighs, and they are the best. I didn't have to get cut. I didn't have to... Look, look, look. Y'all can see my, my, Ooh, my little muscles coming out. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Like you can see my, 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 my muscles. Like, like, they did a really, really good job with my arms. No, I did not have to get my arms cut. Um... And as you can see, I'm going to show you my, my uh, pictures here. These were my arms before.
um but right now they're extremely small and i love my arms they actually fit my body now oh, don't get dolls don't you get so tired of people saying oh you got this little bitty waist this little bitty body and your arms look like goddamn gorilla arms <laughs> Your arms look like damn gorilla arms. And I'm like, hey, yeah. shit. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do, you know. But um, I would recommend that you go to somebody who specializes in arms. If they specialize in, in arms, Art Lipo oh, nice. is in Tampa, Florida. Uh, I will leave the doctor's information in the description. Um, they did an awesome job on my th on, on my arms and my thighs, and I also have do do they do your forearms? Uh, they will do anything that you request. Um, they are a really good practice. I really like like them. They even do BBLs and tummy tucks and stomachs and stuff, and you stay up. Um, that's the good thing about it when you're dealing with older women, older women that want to have. Uh, surgery done um, it's actually better just to be able to stay up because you don't right, have to right. get put under right. so um, that's really really good and you get excellent excellent results and if you want to see those videos of my before and after pictures in that you can click right up here but we're going to keep moving on um, the next question that we have is what is a floaty uh, just y'all check my previous videos out. It would definitely tell you my whole journey as far as what the floaties are. They're actually those pool floaties that the, the little round pool floats. That you use in a swimming pool. They help so much for sleeping. Um, because it's because when you have a BBL, you actually cannot. You have to sleep on your stomach, but when you get your floaty, you can just put your little butt in the floaty. It won't touch the bottom, and you can just lay back and relax. It's the best. It is. Was it not? It is. It was the best sleep ever. Oh, my God. Like, I was really struggling at the beginning with the with the can't sleep on the butt because it's the craziest thing, y'all. Like, you, I don't even sleep on my butt. Like, I sleep on my stomach, but the minute that you can't sleep on your butt, you it's the time that you want to sleep on your butt, right? So it's the craziest thing. But the floaties, when I tell you it was a breeze, it helped me so much. Yeah, it did, you know. Oh, my God. Yep, I was buying oh. all the floaties. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. This is how the floaty looks. I will put that here. Um, and so that's just a floaty. This is how we were laying. We propped them pillows up. Had our little neck brace, put our little butt in the little butthole thing, <laughs> and and in was in the circle. In the little, yeah, 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 know, in the donut. My, my dogs know what I'm talking about. In the butthole <laughs> thing. The butt hole thing. <laughs> so um, so yeah, so that's that's that. Um, if you do not have a BBL, are you able to still wear the fajas? Of course, it's just. A faja is basically just something that holds compression in. Um, it's it's a compression garment. So even if you want to um, get a better shape within yourself or whatever you want to do, you can wear fajas too. Um, it's 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 just compression. Now, women with surgery, we wear them because one, it helps with uh, blood clots. And not only do it help with that, but it helps to shape us as well, um, which is actually a really good thing. But if you do not have a BBL or have any type of surgery, you can still wear a compression garment. Like, it's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, that's why they have shapewear. Any type of shapewear that you have is some form of compression. Yeah. So you don't have to really worry about that. So snatch bands have the best Fahas to me like they they really did justice for me i can only speak from my experience and my daughters me and my daughters have had bbls y'all and we do got a surprise because brianna y'all know my daughter brie and my daughter Sh Sh shanita one they are grown guys but they are going to dr plaza um they already made their appointment um my oldest daughter shanita has has not had a bbl so this is her 
this is her uh first round but y'all know brie brie has had her this is going to be her second bbl uh because when she went to dominican republic they kind of uh botched her a little bit but uh we're gonna get that taken care of it's just not what she wanted so and like i said that's the same thing happened to me um they gave me a shelf butt and i didn't want a shelf butt i don't want to look like my my you can put cups on my butt and just let it sit there like i don't want to do that i wanted the slope butt and they gave me a shelf butt my, so my drink keep falling off now that's her. Shut up. <laughs> so guys So, um, that is actually, it's, it's a difference. So my dolls, my future dolls, make sure you know what type of butt you want so you can let your doctor know what you want. Okay. Because that's really important because you will get something that you don't want and it can be quite frustrating. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you got to spend another six or $7,000 or however much your surgery was to go and get. A, 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 a round two or a round three or a round four because they did not understand what you wanted from the get-go. Um, how do you measure your garments? Um, if you have not had surgery and you buying a Faja before your surgery, then you want to size up. You want to size up one from your original size because you're going to be swole. You're going to be swollen. Um, so you want to size up one and then once you have your surgery, your swelling goes down so fast, then you start su sizing down because once your swelling go down, you will just start losing weight and then you just get smaller and smaller. So you just keep sizing down. Right. Um, so, and then how you measure that as well is ladies, ladies, you measure your faja by your hip size. By your hip size. You cannot measure your faja by your waist. Because if it, if, <laughs> you want to explain why? <laughs> you can't get it over. <laughs> yeah. You can't get, if you measure it by your waist, then you can't get it over your butt. Right, right. <laughs> so or you have, yeah. or, right, or, or your butt or your hips. So you have to make sure that when you get your, or, or you're looking for sizing for your, um, for your faja, you want to make sure that you get the measurement for your hips. Even though it say waist sizes, you definitely want to get the size, you want to look at the sizes for your hips. Now, and that's the reason why um, I love snatch bands too, is because they give you different type of uh, uh, waist, uh, what they call them snatch bands mm -hmm. to be able to snatch that stomach even more right, right. so so we uh what the snatch band do is they they try to hold the like get the compression off of your hips and off of your butt but be able to snatch your waist with Correct. with the different type of snatch bands that they have um and later on i'm going to show you the new 2021 exquisite that i love and i actually had the exquisite when i got out of surgery the second time but they got a new 2021 that is a beast and the, and they call this waist uh the 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 waist uh band that they have with this particular one they call it the snatch trainer like it is actually really 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 good and it really 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 snatch you and I'm going to show you because you will be able to tell the difference big time it snatches you very well um the next question that we have When do you wrap your stomach with the tummy tuck wrap? Every single time. When, when you, when all of your wounds close. So even if you have, um, if, if you had, um, what's the, the, uh, the uh, tubes. Yeah, tubes. Uh, if you uh, had the tubes. Drain wait, tubes. Yeah, if, if you had the drain tubes, wait till that is closed up. Wait till your wounds is closed up. Any type of incisions that you had to get your your uh, lipo done for your BBL, you want to wait till those incisions close because that's why you see a lot of people with a lot of the red fluids coming out because their their incisions are not closed. So you don't want to put that on uh, while your while your incisions are open. 
Right. So you want to make sure that those are closed. So if they close, I think mine closed like within a week. Yeah, it wasn't long. Yeah, it mine wasn't actually long. So I I believe like after one week, I had went on and um put my tummy tuck wrap on, and then my hard board and my butt board, and then my um faha. Okay. Let me move in my hand. I was looking at your little thumb. You know, we be boxing, y'all. Like, we, we be going at it. I, 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 I be having this. I be spraying myself with off because it feel like a little <laughs> mat hitting me. <laughs> like, you know. You know what? It, 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 anyway. So, let's see. We, we, we did this one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, if anybody have any other questions, uh, please, you can... Um, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I have one more thing to say. At Snatch Bands, they have different type of fajas. Now, they, they do have the ones with the opening, and they also have the ones with the zippers. So, and that's down where the crotch area is, so you'll be able to use the bathroom. Um, if you prefer the crotch to be open, they have those. If you prefer the crotch with the zipper, uh, they have those as well. Um, they also have no compression on butt and hip garments as well. Please let me explain that. Now, when, when they say the no compression over the butts and hip, it is a either a sheer or it could be a stocker material or it can be, I believe it's one more thing that they have that, that actually helps with the no compression. But please, ex, please let me explain. No compression doesn't mean that, that, you, uh, that you're not going to get anything. Like, you still have to make sure that your butt is shaped. Right. You, you, your butt, you don't want to have lumps in your butt. So, you want to make sure that your butt is shaped. So, that's why I love these garments so much because they have very light compression because it helps with the shaping of the butt. And then, and then um, they also have it where it's the stocking material where it's just not a lot of compression at all. And that's why I love them so much. Now, if you don't want any compression on your butt, then you get the G-string type ones um, -string. that your butt just come out. Um, they have those as well. And I was also going to say, what, what, what else was I going to say? She was going to say she is so crazy about her husband. That's what she was going to say. <laughs> You know what? I read your mind, didn't <laughs> You know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do... I'm going to try on the new 2021 Exquisite because I love it. And I already ordered it myself. And I love it because I always train. And anytime, because your weight go up so much and down, you always want to make sure that you keep your fire high yeah, and yeah. keep your snatch bands because of the simple fact that your weight do go up and down. So if you don't exercise or you don't do whatever, just make sure you keep your stuff on. Right. Keep your fire high. Go and that's the, the season holidays. check, right? You you want to keep Ooh. your fahas on and keep your uh, uh snatch bands on, uh, because like I like he 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 just said, excuse me. As the um holidays and stuff change, it's it's yeah. you definitely want to keep weight, keep you shape. Know you got yeah. that corona weight, so you know, hey, go yeah. on, keep it trained. Yeah, and you want to protect your investment, like I said. Um, if you are getting a BBL, uh. To not keep it trained, then you're going to have a rude awakening because you will get all out of shape and you will not be able to see anything. And then when you gain weight, you gain everywhere. Like, and not only do your butt be humongous, <laughs> humongous, all the weight go in your butt. But it's funny, y'all, because when you do gain weight, it's like an inner gang. So it ain't like you see it like a like a big chubby, oh you chubby this and this. It's like a, you just start getting wide and then your butt look humongous and you like, oh my God, like I was pockets be about this big. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's an ignorant. So you just you guys said I, I, I love this man. I promise you I do. Took the wild in your life, dude. Anyway, so like I said, guys, um, 
make sure that you keep your waist trained it's really really important um keep your fajas so anytime you feel like you can work out in your fajas yeah. work out in your fajas keep your waist trained uh keep your trainers it's really really important so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and try this new one on and tell me what you guys think next like it's really really this is actually and if you look at the back y'all you know this is the exquisite is 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 actually um um the exquisite has a really light compression for the uh butt part here so if you look right here you might see where it's here but y'all know i keep my drawers on ain't that type of chick y'all keep my drawers on so if you see right here but if you look i don't know if you guys can see it but it, it actually help it do it does not flip like look like it's actually like really 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 snatched here like if you see i don't know if y'all can see it with the black but it's really really snatched and you have so you have one two and then you got two more so it actually helps with the bottom part of, of the stomach, stomach as yeah. well so if you have the bottom part you can snatch the bottom part and then you got the top part so if you got to snatch the top part you can snatch the top part as well and this part right here actually gives you this part right here actually gives you your, your 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 extra snatch. So if you look right here. Okay. And that's the 2021. And that's why I love it so much. And that's the end, guys. If you have any questions, you got anything you want to say? Man, just enjoy your life and enjoy this journey. This has been a great journey. That's what I wanted to say. You got to say something to any of the men? Oh, man, celebrate your wife. Celebrate your woman. You know, your significant other, man. And support her. Encourage her. She's going, she is going to go through a lot. So she's going to need your help. And a lot of that, uh, a lot of that stress and strain can be, you know, alleviated if you just give her that support. You know, you got to be there, you know, mentally for, emotionally for. And trust me, you know, you need to get in shape too because she's going to work the hell out of you. <laughs> yep. See you guys. Talk to you later. Inbox me if you guys need me. Um, Boss Lady 7. <laughs> Holla. <laughs>